All right, YouTube, it is me recording uh, on the graveyard shift at the moment. Luckily, it's my last day of the week, thank God. Uh, I was gonna make a video yesterday, but I was sleeping all day yesterday and didn't have the time to make it, so didn't have the time to make it in my studio of my apartment. So, so for now, I'm gonna record this here because, you know, when I'm on the job and talking about some sensitive topics, we all know, would rather those topics not leave my car, leave, you know, my studio and not have other people hearing it, especially on the job. Y'all know how that goes. So anyway, sometimes I just like to introduce the Zach car edition to for for that with that little statement. So anyway, I'm going to be here talking about this. And yes, I'll get, I know there's a lot going on this week. There's a lot of shit going on. I haven't been able to record because I've just been I've been either really busy with other stuff and then the times I would be relaxing, I'd either be sleeping or I would just be too tired to get in front of the camera when be in the mood. So anyway, with that being said, I'm going to talk about the one topic that is here. So I'm not going to talk about everything all at once. I'll be talking more about that stuff in tomorrow, um, in the next stream. If that happens uh, tomorrow, if not, then Tuesday or something. So keep your eyes. So keep your eyes out for that. So Kyle Kalinske, I saw a video of him not too long ago. Now, I ain't a fan of the guy anymore. He's a complete fucking sellout. He's a complete Democrat partisan shill at this point. He's cheerleading for fucking Tim Walls. He's cheerleading for Kamala Harris now. He's, he's definitely not what he used to be. So, no, I haven't been a fan of him since the whole uh, fallout with Jimmy Dore over Anna Casper. And we all know what happened with that. So... Kyle Kalinske decides to take the whole fake scandal that, that's going on with Tim Pool and a few other like right-wing commentators or whatever. And that, that whole fucking bullshit about where they're, oh, they're getting Russian money and all this other fucking happy horse shit. So guess what Kyle Kalinske does? Being the, being the shill that he is. What does he do? What does he do? He ends up parroting that narrative about Russia, about Russia paying Tim Pool and Russia paying all these people. And look, I don't even want to defend these people because I don't even agree with them on a lot of things. I don't, I don't like Ben Shapiro whatsoever. I think he's a Zionist fucking hack. Okay, yeah, Kyle did mention that in the video. So, okay, fine, I'll give him that. I mean, that doesn't take much. Everybody knows Ben Shapiro is a fucking share leader of the Zionist regime. Doesn't take too much to realize that, okay? But when it comes to Tim Pool, there's a lot I don't agree with him on. And I think he tries to bolt sides Israel and Palestine too much. And I don't really like that. But but it's whatever. So Kyle does the stupidest fucking thing imaginable when it comes to that whole entire thing. He's literally parroting these ridiculous talking points about Russia paying these people. Really, that, that sounds kind of like Russiagate all over again, doesn't it? That's what it kind of sounds like to me. And he's saying this with no fucking evidence. He's saying this with no evidence that him, a few other right-wingers. Now you like right-wingers I don't even like or even listen to. Tim Pool is someone I listen to occasionally. But, oh, Kyle got, got mad because Tim Pool said that Ukraine was our enemy and all that. And it, Well, yeah, they're a fucking welfare queen of the fucking U.S. empire. So Kyle Kalinske doesn't mention any of that. He doesn't seem to mention any of that. He just bitches and moans that, oh, Tim Pool, oh my God, he's not an independent bleeder. Oh, he's not an independent commentator. Oh, he's not this, he's not that. He, it's just all this fucking happy horse shit that doesn't make any fucking sense. Just when I was thinking, I sort of given him a chance at one point to see, okay, how's he doing? Maybe he's gotten better over the years. No, he hasn't. No, he hasn't. He's become more of a Democrat show than he has before. He's more of a Democrat show than he ever was. And now he's he's doing Russia bad talking points, which is fucking ridiculous. Like, no, like this stupid motherfucker is literally doing Russian bad talking points. That, that's what he's doing. The new Red Scare. And fucking stupid ass pro-Ukrainian fucking parasites are going in his fucking comments and saying the same shit. Like, literally just out there just saying the same fucking bullshit. 
The same fucking mainstream media talking points. Oh, it's so funny Kyle Kalinske calls himself an independent commentator, yet he parrots mainstream media talking points and Western government talking points about how Russia bad, Ukraine good. Ukraine is like this fucking demigod that we got to defend and Russia's the bad guy no matter what, blah, blah, fucking blah. Just that whole fucking stupid ass neocon, neoliberal fucking shtick over and over again. And then Kyle bitches him, uh, oh, 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 Russia shouldn't have in the Ukraine, blah, 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 blah. You know, just all, just, a, just the same shit that he said before. Remember, remember, this is the same guy that actually said, why is it a bad thing to give Ukraine weapons? Even though that that fucking prolongs the war and escalates the war. Kyle Kalinsky tries to claim to be anti-war, but he's not. Nah, huh. He's only anti-war when he wants to be. That, that's the difference. He's selective about it. That's the difference. When you're parroting mainstream media talking points, you're fucking pro-war. doesn't matter what you think about it. Now, do I think this war should be happening? Fuck no. I don't think it should be happening. I don't think any war should be happening, whether it's Russia, whether it's the U.S., whether it's anyone. War shouldn't be happening, period. Bottom line, full stop. I don't even agree with any of that type of stuff. So, but... Kyle goes into the fucking Russia bad nonsense and that fucking bullshit fucking hate train about Russia that all these fucking stupid ass bullshit progressives have just jumped onto over the years. And he never brings up anything about NATO expansion. He doesn't talk about what led to this conflict in the first place. Kyle's literally using the talking point that Russia just decided to go in and take Ukraine. He's saying the same fucking thing that all these other assholes have been saying over the fucking years. It's like, you're a fucking goddamn sellout and you have no idea what's going on over there and no idea what's going on in the real world. You have no idea, Kyle. Kyle Kalinske has no idea what goes on beyond this fucking bullshit echo chamber that he created for himself over the last few years. He has no idea. No idea whatsoever. That's why I've unsubscribed from him and I now at this point, I will never, I am so, no, I haven't done with Kyle for a while, but I will never give him another chance again. That's it. Like, he, he's had more than three chances to uh, clean up his fucking act. No. When you do the fucking Russia bad narrative and everything, dude, you, you're just a, you're a fucking show. Not even bringing up why not even bringing up the fact like, whoa, uh, oh, NATO expansion? Oh, well, well, maybe that shouldn't have happened, you know, but okay, I don't agree with Russia doing this, you know. He doesn't even take the approach of like, oh, I disagree with the invasion or because of X, Y, Z, but I acknowledge you, NATO expansion. Chris Hedges did that. Uh, Lee Camp did that. A uh, few others have even done that. So uh, e even uh, even uh, con uh, consor Consortium News has done the same exact thing. Th th there's all sorts of people that have said that don't even agree with Russia going in. And, uh, you know, technically speaking, yeah, it shouldn't have happened. But the reality is NATO escalated this fucking conflict and baited them into the conflict. And Ukraine is being used as a fucking pretext. Now they're a welfare queen state of the fucking U.S. Empire. Just another assassin arm of the U.S. Empire that they are using to fight Russia on the other side of the world, all over the fucking globe. That's what they're doing. And Kyle can't even put two and two together because he's such a fucking partisan shell. So he can't even put those two together because he's such a fucking partisan shell, such a fucking Russia bad neoliberal now. He can't even do that now. So by that logic, he now tries to act like Tim Pool is this, hey, he's taking Russia money. Oh my God. Oh, but I'm an independent, I'm an independent uh, person here. You know, I've got a Patreon. Even though, even though I got this and that. But funny, funny. He parrots mainstream media talking points, yet he claims to be independent. No, if you're if you're truly independent, you'd be having your own thoughts about this and you wouldn't be parroting what the fucking mainstream media says about Russia bad, Ukraine good all fucking day. And what's wrong with saying Ukraine is our fucking enemy? What, what, what the fuck is wrong with that? What the fuck is wrong with that? What, saying that makes you get paid by the Russians? Fuck you. That's such fucking bullshit. You see what I mean? That's what these progressives are. That's why I'm to the left of the progressives and to the left of the Democrats. Because I have, I, I, because it's all about, it's not even about out lefting each other or whatever. You know, like there's some people that have gone right. There's some people that I've gone left. Okay. Let's be honest. I've gone left, but, but, you know, but I, but I'm socially conservative and I'm economically leftist. You know, I have my Marx and socialist principles. You all know how that goes, but but I, but I still have some conservative libertarian views on, on a whole host of other issues and so on and so forth. But 
What this really proves is, is that Kyle Kalinske cannot form a coherent argument. He just can't form a coherent argument about, you know, you could criticize Tim Pool on so many different things. You could criticize him on his views on, on Israel and Palestine, or the same thing with Ben Shapiro. Then Ben Shapiro's defending uh, Tim Pool. Okay, whatever. Ben Shapiro's going to do that, even though I don't fucking like the guy, but... But it's like, come on now, you're trying to tie these people into fucking getting paid by Russia? Okay, yeah, uh, yeah. And then in that video, there, there did become a point where Ben Shapiro was saying getting paid by fucking Israel and whatnot and saying, like, like uh, Israel is at a crossroads. No, oh, we need to defend. Oh, Israel's at a crossroads. We need to defend Israel. Oh, blah, blah. So there's money to give to Israel and, blah, 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 and all that fucking nonsense. Yeah, that was fucking stupid of him. But, I mean, it doesn't take too much. I mean, even fucking Helen Keller knows that Ben Shapiro's a fucking Zionist cocksucker. I mean, fucking Helen Keller could be sitting there. Oh, but, oh, oh, man, Ben Shapiro, he's totally a fucking Zionist cocksucker. I mean, it doesn't take too much to figure that out. Jesus fucking Christ. So, no, I'm not giving Kyle Kalinske fucking points for acknowledging Ben Shapiro's a fucking Zionist cocksucker. He does, it doesn't even need to. No, I don't need to do that because it doesn't take fucking anything to figure that one out. Jesus Christ. But but th this whole thing that Tim Pool's paid by the fucking Russians. No, he wasn't. No, he fucking wasn't. He most absolutely fucking was not. Well, funny enough, you know, I could literally say that Kyle Kalinske's getting paid by Ukraine. I mean, it's not fucking true, but I could fucking try to say that. It's like, okay, you want that? You want, how, how about that, apples? Okay, how about them apples? You want me to say this? Okay, Kyle Kalinske's now defending Ukraine. Oh, 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 all those people in his comments, maybe they're, maybe they're paid by the Ukrainian Nazis. Oh, my God. Why didn't I say that? I could say that, but I'm not going to because I'm not a fucking partisan idiot. I'm not going to say that. But I mean, you know, it's like you. I was like, oh, you want to bet? You want you, you want to bet? You want to bet? You want to bet? Want me to say that? Because I could fucking say that. I could say that with no problem. But I'm not going to. See, they see that's the difference here. You know, it's like, it's like when I'm going to criticize someone, I'm going to make legitimate criticisms on them. Just like Kyle, I could come out here and say Kyle Kalinsky's a Ukraine shill. He's getting paid by CNN for parroting Russia bad talking points. But no. Because I know it's not true. I think Kyle Kalinske is a fucking idiot. I think that's a given at this point. I think he's a fucking dumbass. I, I think that's uh, I think that's a given at this point. But but the, but the reality is he doesn't seem to mention the fact that well well he says Tim Pool got paid by Russia with no with no evidence. And look, there's a reason why he has to go back. Well, Tim Pool has to go back and talk about well yeah Russia shouldn't have dude. He never even agreed with Russia. He never even agreed with Russia. Like dude. Understand, Tim Pool doesn't even agree with that or whatever. Oh, because he he, he defends Russia on some things. A big, big fucking deal. I do the same thing. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I, I'm at my place. Of, I'm at my place of work right now. Now. Uh, yeah. I, I'm at the Kremlin headquarters. Okay. Mm -hmm. That's what I'm doing right now. Uh, I'm sitting out here in my car. I'm waiting for that. I'm waiting for that big fucking check. It's like it's like this. It's like. Well, hello. Well, hello there, mom. Well, hello there, Anastasia. Thank you for thank you for that check from the Russian government. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Yeah, you see? See, I got the check from the Russia. Does that make any fucking sense? Like, come on. Who would believe that? Who the fuck would believe that? I mean, I'll tell you who. You know who would believe that? Some, some fucking partisan hack like Kyle Kalinske, the young turds and Sam shit fuck would believe that. That's who. The only ones who would believe that are complete fucking neoliberal fucking partisans. They're fucking parrot Russia bad talking points all day long. That's who. Dude, it's so ridiculous. No, Tim Pool was never paid by Russia. I do believe Ben Shapiro was. I mean, Ben Shapiro said it. Okay, he said it. So so it's absolute evidence he was paid by, by, by fucking Israel. I mean, like I said, it take, doesn't take too much. I'll fucking person who's blind and has no arms could literally acknowledge that Ben Shapiro was paid by fucking the Zionist regime in Israel. I think it's a, a given. But to say that Uriah or Tim Pool got paid by, by Russia is fucking bullshit. It, 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 that same smear has been used, it, it probably was even used against Kyle at one point. You know, back when Kyle wasn't a fucking sellout and he could put two and two together and he could call out the fucking narrative against Russia. He used to do that. He used to do that. 
Remember that? But now he's turned he's turned the corner. And now ever since at least since 2021, he's turned into a complete cheerleader for the Democrats and Russia bad and all that fucking nonsense. That's just what he does all day now. And that's what he does on his fucking channel all day now. Understand, I don't even want to defend Tim Pool on this. I don't even want to defend certain people on this because I don't even I don't even like a lot of their policy positions, but I have to come out here and defend it. You even tied fucking Dave Rubin into this. It's like, oh my God, are you going to make such a fucking disingenuous argument that I have to go out and defend fucking Dave Rubin, who's also a fucking Zionist show? Do, you, do I have to come out here? It's a, you want me to defend that guy? You're like, no, I mean, I'm not going to defend the guy, but, but. When you say, oh, Dave Rubin's getting paid by the fucking Russians. It's like, what is this, a joke? Am I supposed to sit here and think that, that, that this is, that, is this serious? Is this serious coverage? Out of all the things that are going on in the world, this is what you got to cover? And the only reason I'm covering it is because it came up and I saw it. It's literally because I saw it. It's been all over the fucking place. I still get recommended secular talk. I still get recommended. I probably was subscribed to it for so many years, even though I've been unsub from it since like mid 2022 or something. No, actually, no. I actually I unsub from him around the time episode 64 came out. Around the time I was I was uh, responding to uh, RBN's takedown of Kyle defending Ukraine in episode 64 of this channel. So it was around the time this channel has really morphed into ranting Rage Central, <laughs> definitely after that. I mean, before it used to be rare, but now it's 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 every fucking video, every episode of this channel. <laughs> it's commonplace. I mean, <laughs> it's, as co it's as common as anything. It's as common as a murder scene on Law & Order SBU at this point. It's literally like, it's like raging in this channel, the same theme is like, the theme behind Law and Order SBU, like Law and Order SBU has like, like, like they have serious crime, and that's the theme in every episode. Well, that's the theme in this channel. But anyway, besides the point, Kyle has no arguments. He he has no arguments. He has no talking points. He has no grounds of reality. He has no idea how any of this works. He's he's doing. He's just he's gone way downhill over the past few years. He's gone so far off the deep end with this fucking Democratic Party shilling for Tim Walls and for fucking Kamala and all these others. Oh, yeah, like, like he's doing, instead of just calling out both of them, he, he's going on the forefront. Now he has fucking TDS completely out the ass. It's so ridiculous. Dude, it's so hack. It's such a hack job that he's doing has of late. Am I missing anything? I don't know. I'm trying to think. I'm kind of like half asleep right now, but that's why I got, oh, I got me a red thunder right here keep me awake during this during this shift but yeah yeah getting paid by the fucking russians who retards no russia had every oh 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 because the the fucking ukraine going into russia or whatever no it's literally because the fucking u.s empire is is aiding and abetting them the u.s empire is aiding and abetting them to do this type of thing so that so that, that 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 this is the U.S. provoking Ukraine into going into Russia. Oh, and then Kyle's like, "Oh yeah, Ukraine is just defending itself." He literally he's literally doing Democrat neocon talking points about Ukraine now. That's literally what he's doing now. He is literally doing those same talking points now. Those same talking points about oh, Ukraine is just defending itself because they were invaded first. Oh, he repeated the same fucking thing. If you actually watched it, I couldn't even get through fucking half of it. But I had like 10 minutes left in the video. I'm like, okay, I can't even stomach fucking watch this. Why am I wasting my time? I'm not even gonna waste my time on this fucking happy horse shit. So after a while, I just couldn't take it. I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna respond to this because this is fucking bullshit. So he says literally that, oh, who invaded who first? He literally said that just like he said earlier last year. Or not last year, the year before that. That I was responding to in episode 64. Oh, who invaded who? He's literally doing the who invaded who. Kal Kalinske is literally doing military industrial complex talking points. Russia didn't invade Ukraine out of fucking nothing. That's fucking bullshit. NATO was provoking Russia 
for all that time. You could say, I disagree with it. Whatever. I don't even agree with war. I don't agree with wars in general. But did, did Russia have, have every right to retaliate on the face of NATO aggression? Of course they did. Russia had every right to respond. Russia had every right to respond to threats to its security. That NATO was beeping up, and they slowly started doing that at the end of the fucking Cold War. So this stuff has been going on for about 35 fucking years. So Kyle Kalinske doesn't even seem to put two and two fucking together. He can't put that together. I wonder why that is. Because he can't. And I don't care. Uh, and look, I, I don't care. I, I don't care. I, I get all sorts of fucking hate comments. Remember the hate comments I got on my other Kyle Kalinske video a couple years back? Or the or the one about uh, Sam Cedar and David Packman being fucking shows? You remember that? Could say the same thing about any of the others. Could say it about any of the others. I could say it about any of the others. I still get these fucking assholes. I don't care. Come and spam on my fucking comments. I'll just, I'll make fun of you. I'll make fun of your family. And I'll say that your mother is pathetic for giving birth to you. That's what I'll say. You say it to me, I'll call you the most violent, vicious names. I'll fucking rip you into a million pieces. I'll say that your mother's a loser for giving birth to you. And your, and her, your, your fucking mother should have sued her fucking coochie shut so that way she wouldn't have gave birth to you. That's what I would have said. <laughs> Retards. I would have absolutely have said that. And I will say it. Come in here and bitch and moan. Kyle Kalinske has turned into the new fucking Sam Cedar. He's turned into the fucking new fucking David Pakman. All this fucking absolute garbage. Just this absolute fucking garbage. I'm focusing on Republicans only and not the Democrats. Oh, oh he's, he's not calling out the two-party system. No, he's turning into fucking drama clout. That's what he's doing. Because that's what the progressive channels do nowadays. You know, that that's what these fucking retards do. That's what fucking Mike Figueroa does. I, he's probably the worst of them. I hate that fucking obnoxious, fucking helium-sounding fucking faggot. I can't fucking stand him. Fucking retard. Him, Sam Cedar, we all know how I feel about him. I fucking hate him with every fiber of my being. And the world would be better off without him. He's a fucking failed abortion, and he shouldn't exist. He's a fucking scumbag. Fuck him. Clout chasing, dishonest, loser fucking scum. <laughs> Fuck him. Sam Cedar, retard. David Packman, little squirming, little fucking Russia gate, fucking parroting scumbag, fucking. Russia gate, kind of a real thing. Fuck you. Fuck you, you little squirming slime bag, fucking faggot. Fuck you. Anyways, anytime I mention these people, that's my response to them. But no, Kyle Kalinsky is just such a disappointment and he's slowly but surely turning into him. No. I'm, I don't have to come out and defend Tim Pool or defend anybody, but I have to come out and counter your fucking arguments because I will, and that's what I will do every step of the way. Because when you're fucking dishonest, I'll do it every fucking step of the way. Because Kyle Kalinske is dishonest. He's dishonest. He's a partisan, and he's a he's a cheerleader of the Democrats now. And he's all Russia bad, Russia bad all day. And has no talking points. And as a result, I'm not going to defend him. And as a result, I haven't defended him in a while. And I'll never defend him again. <laughs> I've been done with him for a while. But I'm officially done with him now. Tim Pool, I'm not even that big of a fan. I mean, I'm just okay with him on some things. But overall, I don't like a lot of the things he says either. But, but if I have to come out here and counter stuff because it's fucking horseshit, I'm going to do that. It doesn't matter. I'm going to do it because I don't believe this nonsense. This Russia bad nonsense is just, it's just, it's just so ridiculous. Blaming Russia for fucking everything is ridiculous. So yeah, get the fuck out of here with your fucking Russia bad nonsense. There are things to criticize about Russia. Yeah, just like there's things to criticize about any other country in the world. No country, every country is, no country's above criticism. Not Russia, not anybody. But, but to say that other people are getting paid by the Russians is just dishonest. It's pathetic. And it's the same talking point that others have used. And Kyle's picking it up now because that's what he does. That's his clout. That's his shtick. And as a result, fuck him. He ain't worth watching. Don't waste your time watching him. He's not worth it. Avoid him at all costs. 
Secular talk is now neoliberal talk. Avoid it at all costs. It's just not worth it. And on that note, I'm gonna uh, end the video here because I gotta get back to work. I uh, don't want my car to be idling for that long because, you know, gas and whatnot. So anyways, I'm gonna end it here because I gotta get back to work and don't want to keep this car running for too long. Don't, you know, we all know. So anyways, I will be back um, at some point. So look out for that. Stream's coming out next week. Look out for that. Keep your eyes out on the community tab, what stuff I post. I might make some more videos later, depending on how tired I am from work. It'll, it'll depend. If not, I'll be back next week with more streams and more videos and other stuff in the works. Stay tuned. Thank you all for watching and hope you all are doing well. And I will catch you guys on the next one. Until then, stay safe, stay well, stay classy. Keep, keep up the good fight. Keep rocking. And I'll catch you comrades in the next one. Until then, have a good one, everybody. See you all next time. Peace and so long.